All right, so now that CL is done and we're a little bit more rested and recovered, we can do a video covering both the Dobronia and we can also cover Jufu in here because I think I can get through both of them in one video. I don't really want to drag out like two smaller videos. I'd rather just put these two together. I still haven't looked at their kits because, you know, basically did the live stream, went to bed, dipped, and then, you know, came back afterwards. So I want to go ahead and look at their kits. I'm really hoping that, you know, Summer Dobra over here is really good because I've been wanting this ever since she came out. You know, as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan myself and a fan of the Blue Eyes White Dragon, when they gave me that in waifu form, you know, I had to inject that straight into the main vein. But I ended up getting Summer Jufu over here. Now, these bad Banners are going to be here until October 2nd, I believe. And so I have quite a lot of time to go ahead and get her, but it doesn't feel good, you know, when your initial summon kind of flops. But I will be back no matter what. Now, looking at her stats initially, her, H her HP and attack, okay, these seem like pretty decent. You know, 10.7 for a four star, that seems, I think that's actually pretty decently high. 12.3 uh, for HP, I'm pretty sure is a little bit more on the average side. Um, but don't quote me on that one. I'm more interested in seeing what their kits are capable of. So I did play around with them a little bit in the story fight things that they have you do, you know, at the beginning of every single event. So I kind of know generally what she's doing. The first skill looked like, as it is right now, basic setup that you would kind of just want her to have, although we didn't have the values. 20% is a bit lower than I was hoping for her to have. I was assuming this was just going to be a 30% for three turns. Hopefully that means that her NP gives her an arts buff, you know, maybe a 30% arts proc that procs before she does damage. I'd be fine with that. But if it's just the 20% arts buff, that's a little disappointing. 30% battery, that's obviously very good. And a 30 star bomb is always going to be good as well. Uh, especially because I do know that her second skill is very, or is it the third skill? It's crit oriented. The third skill, this is the crit oriented one, uh, where she's giving herself 10 stars every turn for three turns. Okay, 10% NP every single turn. 30% NP gain and 1,000 HP. This is something that they kind of had for CL as well, where they're just very well balanced at all the effects they give each other, or at least give themselves, I suppose. Uh, tell me that it's a... It's a 20% crit damage. It's locked? Oh, okay, okay. She has 30% base over here. Oh, dude, I was going to be so sad if it was just 20% crit damage that you could only get on field short. So that's why these failed, because when I was using her... In the initial story chapter, she had three effects that failed, and I was like, whoa, what, like, what are these, like, specific buffs that she's getting? So, she gets an additional 20%, so she can get up to 40, 50% crit damage, and then, okay, yeah, I suspect that she would still keep the dragon power mod, 50%, and then 20% defense over there. Uh, NP does arts resistance down by 20% on one enemy for three turns. I hope that procs first. That would be really nice if it did. But if not, I feel like she's going to be pretty much exclusively a CQ servant where you want to stack up and build up on enemies. Having the Earth Power Mod's not bad, though. That's really good. If you've used Ibuki, you know, you know how strong that is. But with her being a Lancer, it's not like you're going to bring her to every single node. You know, she's pretty much going to be relegated, at least for farming, uh, fighting archers and berserkers. So... That's not bad, you know, having two classes that you can kind of lock down, and NP sealing them is not bad either. Why if it's on the NP as well, 0.45% NP gain. She seems solid, but this is nothing too crazy. And, I mean, you know me, my, like, my hopes were, like, through the moon because, you know, I've been waiting for this servant for a long time, but she is good. If you pull for her, if you're like me and you're excited for her, she is really solid, but she might be... More regulated to, say, a writer um, Murasaki type thing, you know, the summer version of her, where she's usable if you want to use her as a single target for, say, like a multi-core setup in a 90 plus plus node. If you have a couple of copies into her, you know, have her like NP2 or uh, higher. But realistically, her best spot is going to be uh, going into CQs and different challenge quests. She seems like she's really well built for that. Whereas CL, on the other hand, and I know she's the premier five star, so she gets better treatment, but she's going to be pretty much good everywhere from what she looks like. Uh, I have her bond CE pulled up over here as well. She's getting... Earth, okay, yeah, that's fine. I really wish they would do some update for these Bond CEs because, uh, for instance, CL's Bond CE, I think is really good. Even if it just gave you, like, a 1,000 attack and HP, I think that would be good enough to maybe run, especially if you don't have better CEs. But just getting 100 HP and attack on a 4-star CE is kind of crazy because even other 4-star CEs give you better stats than that. But, I mean, it's 
it's nothing too special, but all right, let's move over to Jufu. Uh, this is the one that I have pulled so far, which, you know, I'm not upset about. She, she's got some like cute outfits and whatnot, you know, and she's got the like Yandere chainsaw massacre thing going on, which I find really funny. It's like, oh my goodness, small person with chainsaw, you know, it's comedy. It's just funny to me. All right. I find it kind of humorous. Uh, so I'm not mad that I pulled her, but you know, I really want to try to get Dobra or CL. If I can get CL, that would also be pretty dope, but that's not what we're here for. We're not here for polling discussions, although you can leave your polls in the comments down below if you wish, but we're here to discuss their kid. Now, like Dobra, I have a bit of information on hers. I know she has three power bonds. I believe it was on her second skill. Again, that was a bit ago when we were doing the stream and we were testing some of the units out, or at least testing what we could out in the, um, main quest for the event. But 30%, see, why couldn't Dobra get 30%? Man, why, why did she get 20%? You know, like, it's just, you could give 30% to Jufu. They have, like, the same attack stat, man. Like, it's not like it's more broken if she's got it. Come on, man. Why am I being slighted? Why is Lysengel going after me, specifically? <laughs> but, okay, 30% on Arts and Buster is really good. 30% uh, battery, that's obviously very strong. She also has another battery on her second skill. Yeah, it is 10% for the party, and then 10% every turn for three turns, and then overcharge of one stage. Is that going to do anything interesting with Dobra? Because she just has the Earth Power mod. Yeah, and what was... CL, yours is the NP damage, correct? I just want to see if there's anything funny you can do with them together. Uh, Yes, it's the NP overcharge. Okay. Okay. Uh, because the Summer Anastasia and the Summer Corday have, like, funny little synergies together, so I'm always on the lookout for uh, little synergies between servants when they release. But, okay, solid. Uh, she's Buster, so you're gonna use her with Merlin and Kolyanskaya, so that's bonus stars, that's bonus NP refund from Kolyanskaya's NP. And then if you want to use her in the Immortal Team comp, I mean, obviously, you, you can get away with that. She's got the deck for it. This is always gonna be good. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's good. Uh, saying it's not bad, you know, might give people the wrong impression. It's good. It's definitely solid. And then... Oh. Oh, oh, okay. So she has power mod against the different debuffs. That's interesting. They're very small, but you can stack all three of these together. I'm liking what I'm seeing. 30% NP damage is also very good because <coughs> Oberon is in the meta. You know, Oberon is very good. 120% death chance up. That's not actually as useless as you might think. This will be pretty good if she... Okay, let's just see if she has an effect on... Okay, she has the effect on her NP. So it's kind of like a Nidocris angle where she has it as a skill and an NP. So you can pretty consistently insta-kill bronze and pretty much even silver enemies as well. That can be very useful if, say, a 90++ plus plus has an enemy that is susceptible to death... Or, um, say, like, some of the Bleached Earth enemies, they have very, very high HP, but you can kind of get around that if you use insta-kill, right? So that's not too bad in and of itself. Nine hits is kind of crazy. Anti-human, anti-human, I believe, is anti-man. I think, uh, the, um, Atlas Academy translates it a little bit different, because I think Morgan also says, for reference, uh, anti-human, but that is supposed to say anti-man, because if it's human trait, it's not very good. But yeah, see, attribute human. Um, that is the man power mod. So that's pretty good. She's an Avenger. Bro, I'm just realizing she's an Avenger and they gave, you know, her the 30% card buff, but not Dobra. Come on, man. She's going to be doing so much damage. Because if you didn't know, um, Avengers have one of the higher um, class attack modifiers in the game. So like just for being an Avenger, you get free bonus damage. If function 2 succeeds on any target, apply attack up of 20% on party. Ooh. That's interesting. Because if you're using this in a boss fight, I mean, sure, if you insta-kill one of the random trash mobs, that's nice. You get the extra attack buff. But I'm thinking if you want to use this in, say, a 90++ plus plus scenario, if you're going to be using her as one of your multi-core guys... You use her to chunk one of the low death resist enemies, and then your other guys get the extra attack buff and stuff. It's why uh, servants like Iskandar are going to be really good in the buster meta, right? Because he also buffs everybody else. 
you know, it's why the, I, I'm forgetting their names, but the Quick 7 that released a couple of months ago that are like the old Type Moon reference, the Quick AoE one, uh, it's why they're really good because like all of their stuff is pretty much buffing the party. And Jufu is doing that as well with the overcharge, giving you the extra NP, which might come up in multi-core scenarios. And then also having a chance to give you additional 20% attack. It's not going to come up often, I don't think, because again, most of the time you're fighting servants or, you know, some gold enemies that have higher death resistance. But if you can get it to trigger, because again, she is like Nidocris where she has the death chance buff and she has it built into her NP, you can get away with insta-killing gold enemies. This actually might be something to keep in mind. This might be something to keep track of. And then, okay, these are the Avenger passive skills. Okay. <laughs> she still has the Yume Ren debuff. That's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and look at her, um, her Bonti. I didn't have this one pulled up. But 10% NP damage, 10% human power mod. Okay. Nothing too insane, but... Yeah, they both look rather solid. Jufu definitely looks like she's going to be the summer heiress of this celebration so far. And Dobra looks like she's probably going to end up being how people think of, say, uh, either Gareth or Wu, right? Where they don't really consider them very much. Even though I think Wu is pretty solid as a servant, she's just not as solid as some of the other guys. But still definitely very usable if you want to use Dobra. Super solid. I'm not coping, I swear. Uh, but Jufu definitely looks like she's a real nasty customer as a single target buster option. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know how your pulls have gone. I am going to be pulling like a absolute madman trying to get Dobra. So be on the lookout for that. You know, I probably have a summoning video that's already up or is going up in the next couple of days, but I will be back. You know, I will be there no matter what to get this, this cat, you know, this blue eyes, white dragon cat girl. I'm getting it. All right, <laughs> dude, it's mocking me, dude. The theory, I know the theory. I had the balls to put, we're getting her a hundred percent, you know, because I thought that'd be funny. Uh, but they're mocking me, dude. I swear they're mocking me. Uh, Copium, uh, Koyan Dark was in the trailer third hidden banner i don't know maybe, maybe the theory will reign true <laughs> my theory was only a year behind actually just think about it next summer it'll be right but with all that being said i'll catch y'all in the next one peace